the city's fight to take control of the Jacksonville landing. Mayor Curry and the landing's owner, Slayman Enterprises, have been at odds of late over the next steps for the prime waterfront property. Jason Rantula is joining us live with the latest on this. Jason, what can you tell us? Well, Anthony, when you come to the landing, you'll notice at least a few things. One of them, the beautiful waterfront, which you see behind me, but you'll also notice that there's no one here to enjoy that beautiful waterfront. This is exactly why the city wants to step in and make this a place worth visiting. Empty closed restaurants and only a handful taking advantage of the open ones. Come to the landing and you'll see it again and again. On Thursday, Mayor Curry further made his feelings on the landing known in two tweets, tweeting, the Jacksonville landing is owned by the taxpayers of Jacksonville. Slayman Enterprises leases the landing from the city. Before adding this, taxpayers deserve better for their investment and their asset. Those we talked to today. Yeah, I think we do need better downtown. Seem to agree. Yes, we do deserve better. For the most part, at least. I'm not convinced that the city bonnet's a good thing because I know how government can doesn't necessarily improve stuff. The mayor's tweets come a day after he told the Florida Times Union editorial board the Jacksonville Landing owners mismanaged the downtown shopping center and that he's working on putting the site under city control. Curry has yet to get specific about the city's plans. He tells the Times Union his, quote, soft offers to buy the landing buildings have been rejected. Last week, in a letter, Slayman Enterprises accused the city of not working with them on redevelopment. Bruce Ayers believes the city could help with tax breaks. The city, I think, would benefit from having some good restaurants, some good bars, keeping people down here all the time. Christy Cornelius believes the landing needs better security and support from local business. It needs to be improved. Security needs to be improved. Businesses need to come in and support it. Um, it's a great location, like I said. I mean, I can see it happening if someone's willing to put the effort into it. And I reached out to the owners of the landing as well as the mayor's office. Neither offered further on-camera comment today about this issue. Live downtown, Jason Rantolo, First Coast News. Jason, thanks. At this hour, millions of people are bracing for flooding. and.